One thing most Americans don't know is that Iranians love Americans. You say, but that's almost, that's not what we see. We see all these clips that people are on the street shouting, death to America, death to America, death to America. I want to assure you, that's a show. Don't get your news from the media. Get your news for, from those people who are there. And most of all, get your news from the Lord. He is working amazing work inside Iran. Now, about that crowd, I was one of them. When I was at 79 on the streets of Tehran, I was saying, Shut, death to America, death to America. I was one of them. But in my heart was saying, not yet, not yet. I want to go there and get my PhD. I love America. And many of the, many, uh, the newscasters and reporters tell me, they said, oh, that's almost, I had this experience. When I was uh, in Iran and I would turn on my camera, the young people would say, death to America, death to America. And even sometimes they burn the American flag. But when the camera was off, the same people, the same people would come to me and say, how can we get to America? We love America. So ask them, what, what this happened? Well, that was a show. The government asked us to do this. They, they wanted this show. I want to assure you, there is no nation in the world that loves America than Iranians. Sometimes I feel Iranians love America more than many of the Americans. For Iranians, America is the ideal society with no faults. If Iran was free, they would have democracy American style. They would copy the culture. They think America has no faults and it's perfect. It's our job to use that love between these two nations to bring to them the truth, the true freedom. Spiritual freedom, yes, that Jesus gives the spiritual freedom, but also help them to experience true democracy. They are ready. They're so open to the people. Just recently, just the last few weeks, I, I get these clips of people who are trampling on their feet the pictures of Khamenei, he's a supreme leader. And the same days I get these clips of people who are supposed to walk on American flag. The government has put the American flag in the walkway on stairs and ask people and force people. If you want to go downstairs, you have to step on American flag. And as you can see in the clip, people of Iran do not do that. Even the government is forcing them. They bypass, they respect the American flag and they don't step on it. Did you know, and I'm sure you know, in America, many Americans are stepping on American flag and do not have any respect for it. Just see how amazing God is working. God has opened the hearts of Iranians to Jesus Christ. Yes, they're hungry for them. They're hungry for his salvation. And number two, God has opened the Iranians heart towards America. What an opportunity we in America can have to, to have an influence in their lives. So I want to encourage you, let's work together. Iran is open to the gospel and is open to America. Let's use both of them to bless um, Iran, to bring transformation in Iran. You say how? Media. Iranians are prisoners in their homes. The, Government media is not telling them anything. The only source that they have connection to outside world and news is satellite television. That's why when all these things are happening in Iran and internet is switched off, many of them go to the satellite television and get their information from those programs. Together, through our channel, we are bringing the truth to people's homes. And I want to encourage you, would you join us? Would you pray with me? And would you join me with me to bring that good news to a desperate nation that needs that good news? Would you join together to disciple that nation and bring transformation, both spiritually and financially and politically? And you know what? These people are ready. Iranians are ready. They're at the end of their rope. 
They're disgusted with life. And that's the beginning of transformation. Iran is ready for transformation, but they don't know how to do it. You and I can work and bring that truth that transforms. God bless you.